In our lab here at work in the Irish Research Institute, uh, we, we generally already have a lot of items for working with things that are biohazardous and we kind of have controls and precautions. We have gloves. We have 70% uh, alcohol that we mix up. 70% uh, is the sort of standard grade of rubbing alcohol. And you need at least 70% to denature and sort of disrupt the, the molecular structures of bacteria and viruses on surfaces. So that's something we're familiar with. But if you don't have any kind of sanitary wipes that you can buy, of course, uh, we do have some hand gel here. This will have, you'll, you'll read the back of these, they'll say they have 70, 70% alcohol. And that's what you want for your hands. One other thing we do is, you can just take your own paper towels and, and wipe various surfaces that are really surfaces that hands touch. So always uh, never squirt directly on the item because you might damage it or if it has high voltage you might cause a, an arc but you can, you can wet a paper towel or a napkin or a tissue and you can wipe all of these areas down that are kind of handled in your lab. Here's a, my grandmother's microwave from the 70s from Montreal for my career. It's been the uh, microwave we melt agar in for DNA gels. Uh, there's a lot of equipment that we have. You might have push button equipment that you can wipe down with the alcohol. And of course, we all have uh, computers, phones, and keyboards. Uh, this one I've turned off and turned off the mouse. So you can, same thing, you can go over keys, all the surfaces of mice that, that people will handle. So don't forget the sides as well. Uh, just grip it and then you know where you need to squirt and, and, and wipe. If you have a touchscreen computer, this one isn't, you want to remember your touchscreens. And of course, don't forget, like on this Mac, there's a power button back here. All, all things that people would touch, and they might touch the edge of the desk. And we try to do this at the start of the day. And there's different, different forms of mice and keyboards to use, so same deal, just do what you need to do. Also your phones. So, we'll do our phone sets, not just where we talk, but also where we hold. And just kind of do that as a habit each day. The other thing that we do, that garbage down there for a second, is we have at work in my lab, we have a one of these forehead monitor temperature meters and uh, you can get them different kinds, uh, different bells and whistles. This one is the type that doesn't actually touch the person and it just powers on. And then this one happens to be set for a particular age group and once it's ready to run it will have a forward meter and I'll do it on me. I'm just aiming it when it's a few centimeters from my forehead, it beeps and it gives me my reading. I'm green and good to go. So we do this once in the morning and we do this again in the afternoon. And then, uh, you know, it's just something you can do in your workplace. And of course, if any of my students have been around anybody who at home who's sick or ill or has a fever, uh, we just tell them they, they can't come in to do their research work. They have to go home and sort of uh, stay at home and see what happens. And we try to, to control things. If I get a fever, I will be totally at home and not doing any of the bench or lab work that I normally have to do uh, because we have to be prudent about how to handle this. So those are some things you can do in the workplace.